So I wanted to do a quick review of the FPV 250X or the QAV 250 or the FPV 250 cage which are the various names I've seen it under which I got today. This is my the existing FPV 250 that I've already reviewed and I've been flying. So this is the cage and, and it, it's basically these two small carbon plates, these screws and standoffs and then this top plate. Uh, and the uh, it makes a big difference obviously to how protected everything is so I've got my I've removed the the old cover that was over the flight controller because that's no longer really needed so there's a lot more room around the flight controller so you can actually reach the buttons and, and you could actually do changes easily whereas before it would have been quite fiddly um, the video transmitter has moved back slightly uh, and fits really neatly in that back section um, I've swapped the aerial over to a a 90 degree uh, with a bendy wire and I've just put a cable tie through here just so that it can't get knocked off and hit a prop which before I was worried about um, also I hope that it will protect this connector which I know is a is a vulnerable area um, you can only run five inch props with this uh, cage because the clearance is is about five mil um, but I think everyone's running five by three props anyway gem fams uh, the extra weight it adds, um, I just weighed it and it's 537 grams all up. That's with the Mobius. Before I had the Pilot HD camera, but the Mobius and the Pilot HD weigh almost the same. So effectively, it's about um, 50 grams of extra weight. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable that's not going to be an issue with these motors. These are the 2400 kV RCX motors. Um, and I think that there's there's enough power there to, to pick that no problem and in fact it might even fly a bit more smoothly with a little bit more weight um, however if you're running the multi-star the 1900 kV motors then I don't know because I imagine they're a little bit more marginal um, but I, I don't know I've got a set on their way um, and uh, but I'm waiting for speed controllers as well before I can fly that the it comes with a little carbon camera plate for a board cam or similar which unfortunately would mount absolutely right at the front there. So your len the lens, if the lens protrudes at all, which they all do, is going to stick out the front, which seems a bit daft to me. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't just have that back a little bit, um, which would have been nice. Uh, I've got the Fat Shark 600 TVL camera, which I wanted to protect, so I've mounted it back in that frame. I've checked and the view doesn't see this bottom plate at all, and it means that the camera's I mean well well protected it's a long way back from the front so that's really great the uh, the Mobius is a bit exposed but what I've planned to do is to get some 25 mil standoffs and to make up a little protective uh, plate for that so I will um, this is not the right size um, I'm gonna make something out of plastic what I'm probably gonna do is get I've ordered some 25 mil Standoffs. I've ordered um, metal ones, steel ones, and then this is an old. Um, it's a. It's not a plastic credit card, but it's the size of a credit card, and I'm going to mount that on top, uh, which I think will be really effective. So that will effectively put a little cover over there. It means if you do crash, then that'll just protect the Mobius from getting a knock. I mean, it's not. It's not horribly exposed. And to be honest, I had the. I had both cameras mounted externally before anyway, so this is better than that was. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting some shots out of the Mobius because I haven't really used it at all. So I've got it set up with 30 frames per second wide angle on the yellow mode and 60 frames narrow is on blue. Both at 720p because that's all I use. Um, so I'm, I'm really hopeful that will be much nicer colours than the Pilot HD camera. The Pilot HD camera is okay but the colours on it are pretty shocking really. Um, so I'm hoping to to uh, get some good flights out of that so hopefully if the weather is decent then um, I might even get a flight out of it tomorrow. I hope that's useful.